Today in the news, we got a rewrite problem and Intel copies Google by canceling a service. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's talk Apple. The company's newest chip has been making the rounds on the internet lately, showing its dominance over Intel and AMD chips. Thanks to a comprehensive video by Snazzy Labs, we saw how the Apple Silicon M1 SoC flexes its muscles in almost all the tasks. Unfortunately though, it looks like the M1 might have a bit of an issue. So the chip itself is called an SoC since, well, most of the system is on one package. That's the CPU, the GPU, and even the memory is on the same package. The M1 is easily one of the coolest pieces of tech that was released last year, because not only is it very efficient, but extremely powerful as well, beating Intel-based MacBooks in just about every workload. So what about that problem that I mentioned earlier? Well, it's not necessarily necessarily a new problem since it might even affect Intel-based Macs, but the M1's unique architecture, the Mac OS operating system, and the super fast SSD might be a trio of destruction. The issue is that customers are reporting high SSD wear rates. These M1-based Macs are reading and writing multiple terabytes worth to the SSD every day. In the most extreme cases, one user has reported losing 10% of its SSD's lifespan in two months, and he has continued to accumulate about 1% of SSD necrosis every 10 days. That means that his drive will theoretically survive less than two years. Others on Twitter, the Mac Rumors forums, and even LTT's forums have noticed anywhere between 300 to 600 gigabytes being written per hour, which is just insane for regular consumer workloads slash tasks. So why does it write this much to the SSD? Well, it's mostly because of the OS. Both the CPU and GPU share the memory, which can be as little as eight gigabytes on base models, so it can fill up quite quickly. Plus, instead of letting you know when your RAM is full and maybe send you a notification so you can close unnecessary apps, macOS just uses the SSD as an extended memory in a way. And with this fast of an SSD, you can see how quickly it would wear out. Add to that Apple's constant push for thin, non-repairable devices, and you're kind of stuck with what you got, unless you can call Louis Rossman. Now, they could fix it with an OS update, and surely by then, Apple will have acknowledged that there was a software issue. <laughs> Another possibility is simply that all of the utilities are reading the SSD smart data wrong. It's a new architecture, so it's possible. We won't know until Apple steps up to the plate. Oh, and if you want to stress your Apple M1 even more, how about mining? Because yep, apparently you can mine on the Apple M1. Now, obviously for profitability, you'll want to mine with the GPU. And when compared to Nvidia's offerings for mining cards that offer between 26 and 80 some mega hashes, with Apple, you can get a crisp two mega hashes per second. What does that give you? A nice dollar bill every, every week. Just make sure the memory isn't full. And also related to things breaking, it looks like Intel is tired of covering overclockers' assets. Back in 2019, the company came out with an overclocking warranty called the Overclocking Protection Program. You can push your Intel silicon chip as far as you want and you're covered. Buy it right now for a crisp 20 to $30 at the purchase of your processor. Cool, right? Call or email us now at the number down below. Shipping and handling paid separately. To be fair, Intel did take its precautions, like you could only get your CPU swapped once, especially if you're a hardcore overclocker like the YouTube people. In any case, yesterday, Intel decided to cancel the program. Don't worry, if you're currently under that warranty, it will be honored, but you gotta wonder why Intel decided to step back from it. Were there too many overclockers returning their CPUs, making it unprofitable? I don't think so. Maybe it was regular shady customers wanting a second shot at that silicon lottery, purposefully breaking their CPUs. We'll never know. But what we know is that Intel doesn't want this PTPP to move on to the next generation. Does that mean Rocket Lake is that bad? Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Let me know what you think. We decided to put some lights in specific areas, like the, the Intel thing, the i9 thing is now glowing blue. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. I mean, I tried, but I can't really. I mean, the love was sink, but the drop heavy. It would last forever, January I kind of expected it to be sturdy I mean we did